Hiya! So my name is Sam and about six years ago I took part in a documentary for Channel 5 as part of their Super Size season. The documentary was called Too Fat for Love and I thought I'd make this video because a while ago I found it on YouTube and re-watched it and decided to have a look at the comments. Um, the majority of the comments were absolutely lovely, really, really beautiful. People saying how well I came across, how um, they felt like they could relate to me, um, just lovely stuff in general. Um, obviously, along with good comments, there's going to be some bad comments, but it is what it is. It's the inter plus, I mean, life in general, everyone's going to have something to say. If you change one thing about yourself, there's going to be something else that they have an issue with that they don't like. So, as I keep saying to people, whatever I do, someone's going to have something to say. So, I might as well be hung for a sheep as a lamb. So, I thought I'd just make this video. So, again, like I said, majority of the comments, absolutely lovely. Also, there were quite a few comments of people asking like, oh, can we have an update? Because, obviously, looking through the comments... I replied to quite a few, like, just saying, oh, my gosh, thank you so much for the lovely comment. Um, oh, like, thank you for the advice or whatever, stuff like that. Um, so I thought, why not just take my phone, take my dodgy ring light that I got, sit on my bedroom floor and just film a video. Now, this video is going to be absolutely nothing special uh, I will not be editing this video mostly because I don't know how and I have no editing software or apps or whatever it is. So this video is going to be very rough. So like I said, about six years ago, I decided to take part in the documentary. Um, and overall, the experience was very, very positive. I enjoyed it, I had fun, I got to meet uh, new people, and just, I thought it was just brilliant, like I said, so much fun. Um, I got the opportunity through Eva, oh gosh, this is where I struggled, because I can never remember if it was through something else that I did, or a phone call, or a message, or like if I put in an application of some sorts. So anyway, I got offered the opportunity and I thought at the time I had nothing else really going for me. So I thought, sod it, why not? I might as well just give it a go, see what happens. So I met up with the crew, which was about two people. Um, they honestly were so lovely, so sweet and just such good people. Um, they followed me around, they spoke to me, asked me questions. Um, as you saw, they spoke to my dad, like they filmed my dad. Um, they filmed me and my best friend at the time uh, shopping for outfits for the blind date. Um, they filmed me and another one of my good friends at a plus size club night that we went to. And yeah, it was just... Oh, and they filmed me and my best friend at the time at a cafe as well, so. Um, yeah, like I said, just an overall genuinely positive experience. Honestly, would do it again in a heartbeat. Like, if someone rang me tomorrow and said, hey, like, w would you be up for doing, like, an update of sorts? Heck yes. Like, why not? I might as well. So, yeah. And again, one of the most written comments that I keep seeing, like, when I scroll scroll through, sorry, is people saying, um, was it fake? Was it scripted? Short answer, no, it wasn't. I I was allowed to 100% be myself, which I was. Um, but yeah, there was no script. There was nothing fake. Um, sometimes you had to elaborate on what you were being asked and what you were saying, like in response to the question. But other than that, I was never told like, oh, like say this or say that. You know, so another comment that I keep seeing was, oh, like, how are the other people doing that were in the documentary with you? Um, and sadly, I never got to meet any of the other people. I never got to meet um, Eddie or Stavros or 
yeah, we never got to meet face to face or even talk or whatever or message or whatever. Um, I do know that sadly a few years ago Stavros did actually pass away, um, which is very sad because in the documentary he came across as such a lovely guy and very, very sweet. So that is such a sad thing to have happened. Um, what else? My, <laughs> my dad, who, as you guys have seen in the documentary, um, has had some of the most loveliest comments as well. Just saying like how sweet he is, how reassuring he is. Um, yeah, so I've told him all you guys' lovely comments. And honestly, it's just made him so happy and just really lovely. So thank you guys for being so sweet towards my dad. Um, what else? What else? Um... Oh, I mean, I know you guys have asked for an update about me and my love life. Um, not, I mean, honestly, not much has changed for me. Like, I'm working, I'm in a job with some of the best people I know, um, doing a job that I absolutely love and really want to progress in. Um, as my love life, I've been on dates and stuff, and I have been trying, I have been talking to people trying dating apps and stuff but sadly I still haven't had a boyfriend but do you know what out of it I have actually made some really good friends and just met some genuinely nice guys and stuff like that so that's positive um I am still trying you know I do like I'll talk to people get to know people chat with people I've probably repeated myself but all I can do is just keep trying and giving it a go. Yes, I do have days where I do get down and sad about things, but I'm not a robot, you know. It's natural. As much as I hate to admit it, yes, I do get down and sad about things, but everyone does, you know. Like I said, all I can do is just keep trying. I am currently trying to lose weight. Um, It is a bit of an up and down, bumpy kind of road, but... I'm trying, so, again, that is a big positive, so, but yeah, like, not much has changed, but like I said, I'm in a good place, I have a good life, I have great friends, great family, a great job, so I'm doing very well, um, but yeah, if you, there's any other comments you guys want to leave me, or any other questions you want to ask, um, leave them in the comments below, and I will happily either reply to you through message like well respond to you through the comments so i can make another video um i will also leave my instagram down below because then you guys can also direct message me if you if that's what you want to do um yeah because like i said i do so even to this day i mean when i did the documentary i was 27 and i'm now 33 so um i still get messages even now from like places around the world saying Hey, we've just seen your documentary. You come across so well. You seem really sweet and lovely. And honestly, I love getting messages. Like it honestly just makes me happy and just makes me smile. And you guys say some of the nicest things. So if you want to message me, you're more than welcome. But um, yeah, like I said, leave me a comment down below and I'll leave my Instagram in the description box. And that's all for now. So I will hopefully see you guys another time. Bye.